What is up guys? It's so much. Welcome back. We are back with some more Mobile Legends. And today we got some more news. I told you I was going to bring you some more news on the update 6.6. 6. Uh, that is 1.1.66. That's a little confusing to say all together. But we do have some more information they did release. Now this is about the gear. And what they said was to coordinate with adjustments on the heroes they made with this upcoming patch. They also made some adjustments to the gear. Now this has not been known before just until just recently and we're going to go over it and they did give some reasons. For one, the armor and magic resistance addition that the tank can get from gear items wasn't ideal. Therefore, they improved the parts of defensive items to allow tank heroes to benefit more from them. So our tanks are about to become even more tankier, which is nice. I'm actually hoping to see some better team fights with these guys. Uh, also, passive effects on some physical damage dealing items could stack up to a very high level. So they lowered parts of the effects to attribute to balance them. And also passive effects and attributes on several items were too powerful, which resulted in that battle. Players could simply just choose them, buy without any consideration for any type of heroes. So what it looks like is they're looking to differentiate the different gear you need to build on actual heroes for them to be viable and do, I guess, what they're meant to be used for. Now, getting into the gear adjustments they have, they changed 15 items, okay? And we're gonna start with the first item, Brute Force Breastplate. They provided armor increase, went from 40 points to 45 points, so they increased that by five. Demon's Advent, the unique passive deterred. The physical attack lowering effect for each layer increases from 4% to 6%. So that's increased uh, by 2%, that's pretty nice. Frost, the unique passive for freeze. Now skills that damage an enemy hero carry will carry a 15% slowdown effect, which is was increased from 10%, lasting three seconds. This is this effect can stack up to two layers, and that is decreased from the three layers that it had previously. So instead of taking three possible normal hits, now it carries that with these skills. So 15%, you hit somebody twice with a skill effect, it's going to slow them down 30% with that frost item. Uh, the fourth one, Scarlet Phantom, the unique passive on it. Frenzy, the critical hit chance reduces from 10% to 5%. So it looks like they're trying to get that damage down for some of these guys as well. So that's pretty nice. A Thor Sting, the unique passive on it, activate. Movement speed addition reduces from 10% to 5%. The price of the item increases from 1870 to 2070 gold. Okay, so that's that's a pretty big change right there. Thor Sting was one of uh, the main farming items I actually really use a lot on some of the marksmen's. They reduced the movement speed by 5% and they increased the gold on it. That was the main reason I really bought Thor Sting because it was so cheap to actually get early game and it helped out farming. Uh, Tooth of Greed, unique passive. Insanity, the basic healing effect reduces from 25% to 20%. Additional healing effect now will be triggered when the HP is lower than 40% instead of 20%. Provides physical attack reduces from 75 to 70. All right, so they decrease the life steal from 25% to 20%. Additional healing effects now will be triggered at 40% instead of 20% because at 20%, literally, that's one shot just about to any hero, definitely. So that 40% increase. Uh, is definitely a lot better than the 20 that they originally had, but you do lose a little bit more attack. So that goes in line with the Thor, the Scarlet Phantom, and looks like they are trying to take the damage down on some of these uh, marksmen and uh, these other guys. It's just too much damage being output. Uh, Blade of Destruction provided physical attack reduces from 75 to 70. Exotic Veil, Flame of Fury, and Arcane Boots. All right, this is number eight. All three of these items provided magic damage reduction reduces from 25 to 15. So the magic damage reduction lost 10 on those three items. The Hunter Strike, which is the ninth item, uh, provided cooldown reduction reduces from 20% to 10%. Price for crafting the item reduces from 900 to 600 gold. So that's not bad. Hunter Strike, um, believe that looks like it's going to be the jungle item i believe don't don't I, that i might be wrong but hey if if i am i'm not actually looking at the game i'm reading directly from the page that they posted this stuff on so if i am wrong on this they decreased it by 10 percent that's okay there's cooldown reduction uh which is capped at 40 percent so that's really not hard to get uh so that's not too big of a problem 
but the price drop 300 gold so you can buy it a lot quicker so that's it kind of balances itself out i, I would say there uh for the 10th item enchanted talisman uh, that's a really big one the uh provided max hp reduces from 400 to 250 points and the mana regen increases from 25 to 30. okay so since they are nerfing the damage a little bit on the uh the builds it looks like we're going to go from having more hp to less but we're going to get a huge mana increase uh from 25 to 30. i say huge i mean five points is five points especially for one item uh, fleeting time unique passive time stream that reduces the cooldown time reduces from 30 percent to 20 percent so that lost 10 percent right off the top uh nothing else really for that one blade of despair unique passive despair additional damage dealt to enemies in abnormal status reduces to 15 percent to 10 percent the blade of despair that's pretty huge as well all of the damaging items that are mainly used looks like they are on this list guys all right let's get into the next one dominance ice of course Unique, the cooldown reduction reduces from 20% to 15%. Now this is only unique, as I said. The price for crafting the item reduces from 600 to 500 gold. Yeah, that's not too bad. But the uh, reduction only took a 5% hit and only lost a uh, 100 gold to buy compared to the uh, 300 with the 10% drop on the Hunter Strike. It's not too terribly bad, but uh, it makes it more viable to buy it now though. Cursed Helmet, unique passive. Sacrifice, all right, the damage dealt to nearby enemies per second reduces from 2% of one's max HP to 1.5% of one's max HP. So they drop that down a little bit. Uh, you'll be looking for tanks probably using this item exclusively. I really don't see them much on anything else, uh, but that's still 0.5 of a percent. It's not really bad of a drop. Uh, that falls in line with reducing the damage of the total game though. And, and the last one on this list, Immortality, the unique passive on it, Rebirth. Now the damage amount that the shield can absorb will be influenced by the hero's level. So basically it scales with the hero as you go through the game, just like the shields from the other things. Uh, most of them say they absorb anywhere from like 350 up to like 1150 or something like that. And it just scales with the hero as you go along. Uh, now it looks like the shield when you come back from dying with that Rebirth, uh, it's going to be, depending on your level, that's what it's going to be based off of. But uh, I just wanted to bring you guys, I've not seen this out yet, and the gear adjustments, this is really huge, guys. This is a huge change to all the damage, the defense in the game. This can completely change the entire game in itself, even though it has been just small incremental numbers that they did change across 15 different items. Actually, that's 18 17 if you include the uh three that was in with number eight but that is a significant change to the overall game that's going to be really interesting to see what this does when it does co does come out uh, i want to remind you that this is coming in the 1.1.66 update this is not currently out yet if you have any questions about this or want to leave any input about this or you just do not like what they are doing i honestly do like what they're doing they're decreasing the damage making the overall gameplay kind of more fair uh that's what i've been hoping to see out of this company for a really long time and i'm really excited about this patch guys you know, i've been away for quite a while but i still have been playing the game uh we're really close to getting the legend and hopefully we will be doing that before the season ends which that ends on march the 31st if you're not there grind it out while you still can uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys gear adjustments like I said if you have anything about these adjustments that they made leave them in the comments below like always guys like comment and subscribe I am Solbash you guys have a nice day